So there's actually a brand new Rocket League plugin that allows you to put yourself in any situation from any game. All you need is the replay file and you select the moment from that replay that you want to recreate. It's pretty awesome that now when I miss an open net in game, I can just save the replay and hold myself hostage until I can score that easy shot 100% of the time. There's a link in the description if you want to try it out for yourself, but just a fair warning that it is a little bit buggy right now. So anyway, when I first discovered this plugin, my first immediate thought was that if I can get the replay files, I can put myself in the middle of any iconic Rocket League scenario you can think of. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, so the first one I want to do is probably the most iconic one of all time. It's the Justin Season 5 goal. The whole, this is Rocket League Game 7 zero second one. This is Rocket League! And if I hit my keybind, I'm literally in the moment from that exact situation in the game. Up here, and then I think he air rolls like that. And then it's basically that, except it doesn't hit the ground. Nope. KDOP literally just saved that. Like, imagine if this never happened and KDOP just straight up saved it in the first place. We never had that moment. That was it right there. Let's go. Now, I can also make myself play as KDOP as well. So he gets this boost. Bang. Imagine if KDOP just saved it like that and it was just game over. Yeah, that one was actually pretty easy, but obviously that was like way back in season five, so it shouldn't be that hard. For this next one, I'm actually curious how many of you know this goal. It's a redirect from a lot where he goes like way up to the ceiling and redirects it like from an impossible angle all the way down. It's all the way back in season four, so I'm not sure how many of you know it. So he goes up on the backboard here and then he like, wow, I didn't even realize he has like such little boost there. Something like that, except he doesn't even jump off the ceiling. Oh, that's so close, dude. And it crashed. Very nice. Like, you never really realize how difficult it is to actually hit this shot until you try it for yourself. <gasps> is that it? No! <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> I literally, I somehow put it back into Metzenaris' car and he, he scored it for me. Oh my gosh. That was so perfect. That was actually insane. Holy crap. That is way harder than I thought it would be. It took me like 10 minutes. All right, next up is the squishy season four ceiling shot. I'm sure you guys have all seen that one. First ceiling shot in RLCS. Like when this was scored, this was by far the most iconic goal ever hit in Rocket League. Takes it up this way, goes like that, moves backwards. I actually, eh, that was decent, but I don't think that was exactly it. And by the way, Mertzi already has this sort of thing on his channel as well, where he recreates pro goals, except in training packs. So if you enjoyed this sort of stuff, then I definitely recommend checking that out. Hit it up, over here, boost back. Oh, that's so close. Set up here, boost backward, and then scoop. Like that, that was the movement, but that wasn't really how it looked. Here, boost back. That was it right there. That was it. Let's go. Like, it really is just like a normal ceiling shot. But again, at the time, like, that was insane. Like, no one had ever done a ceiling shot in RLCS at all before, let alone, like, a fake ceiling shot into the hit at the end. All right, this next one, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all. It's from Season 7. It's Garrett G. It's not really that iconic, but it is insanely impressive. He goes on the wall, then, like, catches this awkward pass from Justin, and then gets an insane power shot all the way to the far side, catching the defense off. Guard. And the hardest part about this one, I think, is going to be, like, that initial touch. Because this is, like, so perfectly precise. He goes up on the wall, and then he kind of slows down a little, I think. Well, that was actually an insane pinch. Ah, oh, and then it's, like, it's barely out of my reach. That's the problem. Do that. And the shot. But you can see, look at the defenders diving across there. Like, I was not fast enough. Oh! so close honestly like when unreal engine 5 comes out with rocket league i think this is gonna be like the next gen way to practice because honestly reading a pass from a certain teammate like this is so much more val oh my gosh that is so awesome honestly i kind of like that double tap a little better That was honestly just so sick. <laughs> like that double tap is just so much of a cooler shot. But I will admit it is a lot easier than actually just getting a perfect solid touch and then a perfect power shot. Oh, is that it? What? 
Okay, I still went in. <laughs> I, th I think that's the closest I'm gonna get, honestly. Like, that shot is just so incredibly impressive, but that, honestly, like, the movement I did, I think, was pretty accurate. So, yeah, not bad. That, that was actually not bad. All right, next up is the final goal from RLCS 8. It's the redirect from Justin. This one's not really that impressive mechanically, but it's like so iconic, I had to put it in here. And I think it would be interesting to not only score how Justin did, but also score like an insane double tap from it. It's something like that, except on net. Like that's just, that's just straight up a good shot, but that's not how it was. Oh! That was it right there. That was it. That was like almost perfect. I don't think it was actually barred down in the real shot, but I mean, that was pretty close to the placement. Yeah, really like not that impressive of a shot, but like so iconic. It's got to be here. But now I want to try getting like an insane double tap from the same setup. Give me that. Oh, it's a bouncer. Oh, the, the thing that makes this double tap so hard is like the lack of boost. Like I'm already out of boost there. Ah, uh, that was not cool. <laughs> oh, give me that. Bang, that was so nice. Yeah, like if, if that's actually how season eight ended, then that would probably be like the most iconic goal. Like people would be talking about that even more than they already were. All right, this is still, I think, like one of the most underrated RLCS goals of all time. It's Astro hitting like a flip reset triple tap in the finals of RLCS season nine. But I think it just got brushed aside because there's no land in season nine. Like it just got canceled. So in the clip, he turns around this way and then he hits it like above the E on score there. Around this way, up here, reset. Oh my God, he literally saved it. It's always shocking when they save it because these are just like recordings of what actually happened beforehand. I think the interesting thing about this one is a normal double tap probably would have worked. Like if he just got like a normal touch to the backboard here and then just like finished it off, like that's probably still not getting saved. Come on, almost. Give me that. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yeah, like obviously that wasn't exactly how he did it, but just a flip reset triple tap in general is already pretty good. So you know what? I'll take that. That was pretty good. All right, next up is actually this goal that's not even from RLCS. It's from this tournament with basically all the top European teams plus Sandrock Gaming at the time. Amad basically just gets this like insane redirect like straight to the near post with a ton of power. So he basically just goes like that and then flips it straight on target. But he gets like such a light touch to where it's just perfect. Dang, like that's pretty close. Like that that one's probably getting saved, honestly. The crazy part of, oh my gosh, that was so good. The crazy part about this shot is how he like leans back and puts it behind the defender there. And honestly, now that I'm trying it myself, this setup is like so deadly. Like that's unsavable right there. <laughs> I made him own goal. Oh, yes, that was perfect. That was pretty much exactly how it was in the actual game. Like straight behind the defender. He literally can't save it at all. That's pretty good. Like I got, I got that way faster than I thought I would. All right, next up is an insane double tap from beast mode in RLCSX. Again, it's kind of hard to find iconic goals from recent events because all this stuff was online. But still, I'm sure like a lot of you have seen this one because it's just so insane. Get this boost. Read the pop. Dude, reading that pop is already so hard. Up here? Oh, I th that would have been it if I scored it, I think. Bang! I think that's it. That was honestly, like, pretty spot on. I think, if anything, his was, like, a little bit higher. I do want to make it, like, even cooler, though, if I can. For some reason, doing this on a pre-jump just makes it feel so awesome. Oh my goodness. That was probably the best one out of all the ones I've scored so far. Like the fact that it's a pre-jump as well is just the cherry on top. All right, next up is this insane wall pinch from Mark by A. It was about like eight months ago back in RLCSX. This one is gonna be like really hard, I'm sure, because it has to be like so perfect. Like the precision, the power, the placement, everything. It just has to be spot on. So he turns around here at the midfield, then pre-jump aerials, and then somehow pinches it perfect into the goal. Pre-jump. Yeah, okay, that is literally the opposite. <laughs> he hits it like as it's going up to this top lip here, like right about there, I'm pretty sure. Bang, okay, that was actually a lot of power, just not on target. 
That was actually so close. Jump up and pinch. <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh. I got that after three minutes. I thought that was going to be so much harder. I don't think I like turned my car the exact same way that he did, but I scored it from the exact same spot. That's actually crazy. I did not think I would get it that fast. All right, next up is this redirect from the past major that just happened from Garrett G. He gets like such a perfect, delicate touch directly to the back post. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. It was in the grand finals of the major. So he jumps up and then gets like a perfectly light touch to the back post. The annoying part about this one is that if I don't hit it in time, then the ball will just move on its own like that. For some reason, that happens sometimes with this plugin, so I just have to hit it earlier. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I think I can do a little bit better than that though. That wasn't directly at the far post. That's not a bad shot. Like that probably still goes in. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I think that's like as close as I can get to it too. That was like perfectly at the far post. There's pretty spot on. I found it interesting that like the hardest ones out of all these were the ones that were hit in the earlier seasons of RLCS. I think it's because they like went for things that people would never normally go for. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, Mercy has a series on his channel where he does the same sort of thing, but in training packs. So if you enjoyed this, then I would definitely recommend checking that out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Again, I'm in a race to 500,000 subscribers with Striped and Fanavic. The first out of us three to reach 500,000 subs gets alpha boost. So it would mean a lot if you could help me out. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.